Hello, welcome back to the Money Pit with Jacob Carver from The Butcher Shop. B. Brian, the Blair, the 18th, 17th, Savage, whatever, from it's all those Blades. Blades, I'm sorry, I can't keep up. It's Blades. From Midnight Scanning Emporium. And this is Mike Money, obviously. We're going to talk about the Attitude Era from the WWF. Yeah. We're going to start with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Oh, I'm sorry, that was JR. He was probably, when you think of Attitude Era, I think of him. The infamous fights with Vinnie Mac, the epitome of the anti-hero. He feuded with The Rock, Triple H, and Bret Hart. Again, this is something, he wrestled Bret Hart, whatever WrestleMania was, where he was the heel and Bret Hart was the face. When the match was over, Stone Cold was the face, Bret Hart was the heel. I'm sure it's happened before, and it maybe happened after, but it's a rarity. He also did the beer truck, which was awesome, where he brought the beer out and sprayed it all over Vince and Shane and the rest of them. Any other any thoughts about Stone Cold or anybody want to say anything? Uh, really, with him bringing in the help bringing in the Attitude Era was really his match with uh, Jake Roberts the, when he said Austin 316 just kicked your whooped your ass. Wasn't that uh, uh, the King of the Ring? Yes. He won the King of the Ring. Yep. Yes, I agree. Uh, that was the infamous Austin 316. Very good comment. Okay, then we got The Rock. Or as Triple H once called, The Croc. Chance of Rocky sucks seem ironic as all the morons that did that like him. And think he's the greatest movie star of all time. He was an overseller. I mean, superstar Billy Graham had nothing on The Rock. And The People's Elbow? The, one of the worst finishing maneuvers ever. I put it up there with the worm. I won't say the chicken wing because I like fucking <laughs> with it. But the worm was bad. The worm was bad. The worm was really so bad. Was Anything else about the rock or we want to gloss over that day? We'll talk a little more about him. One of my favorite, well, definitely his favorite, one of my favorites, Cactus Jack slash Mankind. Hell in a Cell match with The Undertaker, instant classic. Guy almost fucking died. Thanks to Terry Funk, who was an enemy, friend of me, maybe a friend of me. Helped out to, to give him time to breathe yeah. so he could take another death defying bump. Which the second bump wasn't planned. No, and when the classic the smile. Cage, it was not. Wasn't his tooth through his lip? His yep. tooth came out through his Anyway, lip. go ahead, finish and, your story about that, the. The bump. first the first, the bump off the cage was planned. The second right. one, when he, uh, Undertaker, I guess, power, or choke slammed Cactus Jack or Mankind, whatever. Yeah, it was Mankind. One time the cage. That bump wasn't supposed to happen. It wasn't supposed to break? It wasn't no. supposed to break. That's but it awesome. Did. Okay. Okay, another thing about him, I know this has nothing to do with WWF, WWE, WWW, WWF. But anyway, in 1995 in Japan, he won the King of the Deathmatch tournament. And I never would have saw this except for somebody had the videotape. And it's funny when you watch it because you go, I don't really get my own. So it's hard to hear that. But first round match, he beat Terry Gordy of the Freebird fame in a barbed wire baseball bat thumbtack deathmatch. Say that three times fast. In the second round, he beat Shoji Yakamura? Nakanami. Yak Nakanami? Nakanami. It's easy for you to say. In a barbed wire board bed and nails match. And in the finals, he beat Terry Funk in a no rope barbed wire barbed wire barbed wire C4 time bomb match. Death match. I'm sorry. You have to have death in there. Death match. Yep. And then in his infamous I Quit match against The Rock at a Royal Rumble, whatever year. He took multiple chair shots in front of his wife, son. Stiff, stiff fucking stiff chair, chair shots. shots. Yeah. In front of his wife, son, and daughter. Not exactly father of the year material, Mick. Go write another children's book. Okay, Triple H, my boy. I should be wearing his uh, shirt. Well, back, sorry. With the, back to Mick. Go ahead. Yep, Mick and uh, The Rock. Uh, I read in his book, he said that when he got handcuffed, that made it even worse because it kind of like put his like uh, spine and everything. He couldn't really brace himself for the impact. Okay. So that's what actually helped me to get actually worse. Other than being hit 37,000 <laughs> times with him. Exactly. He was, was, he was bleeding like a stuck pig. What was the name of that, that movie that was in that we can ever remember that Vince McMahon didn't want you to watch? The wrestling movie. No holds, no, not no holds bar. That was a dumb movie. Okay. I, we'll, we'll come back to it. It's no big deal. Triple H. He found a DX with Shawn Michaels in China. Hogpen match. 
Any Hershey any memories? Park. He was there in Hershey. Live in Hershey Park, uh, in your house pay per view. He wrestled one of the Godwins. We're he not sure which one. one. Might have been Phineas. And uh, Triple H was a special guest referee. And after Triple H wins the match, I think he wins the match. I'm pretty sure he won the match. Uh, Triple H throws him into the hog slop. And you remember he has and, the nose as long the, as this, and, and he's he has like the classic uh, Greenwich. Stuck up, snobby, like oh, awesome. Turn into that was classic. Okay, yeah. when Michaels got hurt, he reformed DX, and I think became a better all-around performer. And I think even shithead over here will agree to that, even though he's thinking terrorizing. <laughs> <laughs> also known as the game and the king of kings. As I played poker, I was the king of pocket kings, but that's another story for another time. Okay, we also had Kane. Who was the brother of the Undertaker? Do we have any? There's not really a lot to say about him. Yeah. He was awesome in that horror movie he did, though. You don't get credit for that, and I think that was. See no evil was a very good for a WWE movie. That was for horror. That's off the top. Well, and also I think Kane did one of the few matches in WWE that actually involved fire. Yes, mm -hmm. the Inferno match. The Inferno match. And remember, he lit Jr. on fire. And I can still hear Triple H. You forgot the three rules. Stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> I know you're not supposed to laugh, but it's funny. Okay, The Undertaker, we won't talk too much about him, but he formed the Ministry of Darkness. We'll talk more about him when I get to that. Kurt Angle. I don't like him in the Attitude Era, but he did do the milk truck, which was the opposite of Stone Cold. He came out with a milk truck and shot milk at Vince and uh, Shane McMahon, which was kind of funny. So how about, we're going to talk about some of the tag t the clicks or click is a bad word groups groups yeah uh, so. how about DX Shawn Michaels Triple H China and people forget ravishing Rick Rude I can't do that because I got a belly but you know uh, for all you fat ashy heifers keep the noise down while I take the road off okay after. They kicked Shawn Michaels out, or he dropped the ball, Jason Sensation. Triple H brought in X-Pac, Billy Gunn, The Road Dog, Tori, and for a second Kane, but we're not going to go into that. But if we do talk about Kane and DX, what did he say? Suck it. Suck it. That was just bad. Nation of Domination. And yes, I said that on purpose. We had Farouk and Rocky Maiva? Maivia? Maivia. Maivia. Okay, and there actually was a white boy in there, Owen Hart, go figure. Colin Kaepernick won a Oh, that's not wrong. Crush was Hawaiian and he belonged. D'Lo Brown, always was a fan of him. Kamal Mustafa became? The Godfather. Ho! Oh, wait a minute, different hoes? Different I'm sorry. Right. Sabio Vega, does anybody remember him? Sabio Vega. Mark Henry, the world's greatest stench? No, I'm sorry. Well, the world's, the world's strongest that man. was one of my brother's better signs. The world's strongest man. Ahmed Johnson fought Next him. Next to Ted Arcidi, though, because who? Ted Arcidi. Ted Arcidi. Yes, that's yeah. a w, that's a w, w, uh, w, He w, wasn't w. in the minute the nation domination. I know, but he's like the world's strongest. man. He was the world's strongest like, idiot. Maybe. I just watched a movie he was in the other day. By the way, just to, I don't can't remember what it was. I tried to but Ted Arcidi. Uh, the fire with Marky Mark. It was based on a true story. Ted Arcidi was like the promoter. And I'm like, fucking Ted Arcidi? <laughs> anyway, how about the Ministry of Darkness? We talked about The Undertaker. Also had the Acolytes. Bradshaw, who was the stiffest hitter. than He was probably stiffer than most people. And Farouk. Midian? Does anybody remember Midian? I, they even, I even had their real name and I can't remember. Would that have helped? Probably not. Like, right, probably not. Like. Viscera was originally Mabel? Mabel from, from Men on a Mission. On a mission. <laughs> or as Bobby Heenan was a Men from a Mission. <laughs> and again, can you say that anymore without having everybody, the NAWCP is going to come after you, Mike. How about the Brood? Who was the Brood, Dave? Um, Gangrel. I'm sorry, Jacob. I <laughs> called him Dave. No more shots. What more are you talking about? Gangrel and... Uh, Edge and Christian. Edge and Christian. Yeah, right. exactly. Okay, the corporation was like everybody. Yeah. Vinnie Mac, Vinny Mac, Shane Mac, Big Boss Man, Shamrock, Tess were probably like the original ones. Then, you know, people would just leave their group, like The Rock, to join. You had Shawn Michaels left his group to join. 
Kane joined. Corporate Kane. Do you remember that? It was horrible. Yeah, Kane was a horrible. China thing. did it. Triple H did it. Big show. I guess Big Show might have been there originally. Probably for a hot second. And then we talked about the what were they called? Pete Cass and Rodney. The Mean Street the Posse. Mean Street Posse. The Mean Street Pussies. <laughs> they were horrible. Yeah. The Rock joined for a second. I think I already said that. How about the Stooges? Pat Patterson, Jerry <laughs> Briscoe, and Sergeant Slaughter. Pat Patterson, who never met a man, he didn't want to suck his dick. <laughs> Did I just say that live? Okay. Yeah. How about the women of the Attitude Era? We'll start with Lita. Amy Dumbass. Wait a minute, that's not right. Dumas. That's I'm not right. sorry. I just met her at a horror convention and we took like 8,000 pictures and if you see the look on her face yep. on the 7,999th, like take the fucking picture already. Awesome. She started with S.A. Rios. Does anybody remember him? S.A. Rios? He's on one of my video games I have. She joined the Hardys for Team Extreme. I'm sure we remember this. Started screwing Matt Hardy. But left him for the Married Edge, which started a feud, <clears throat> excuse me, in a real life storyline. Did a live sex show at Hershey where her nipples slipped. And I was there, but guess what? I was the only fucking person in Hershey that didn't see her nipple. That's just not right. I think I should get a, I demand a recount. I want to see that Where your money back from 19... Yeah, 90... Figure the date. I don't even know the date. Okay, Trish Stat. The, 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 Trish Status? Trish. Trish Stratus. Trish the fucking dish is right. I had a Stratus card. I called her Trish. And I remember your ex wife said, You can't call her my name. No, you're Trisha. She's Trish. There's just a slight difference. A little bit. Just a little. Anyway, she started managing Team TNA, which was Test and Albert. Also managed Val Venus, which I don't remember. After a very slow start, became a very good wrestler thanks to Fit Finley. Yep. And uh, I'm not going to talk about Hornswoggle, that's some of a bitch. But Fit Finley was one of these guys. Let me tell you something. Uh, just a real quick thing. When women wrestled, the guys that trained them trained them like they were dainty. They were afraid to touch them. Fit Finley trained them like men. That is why in the Attitude Era, these women could fucking wrestle. They had talent. I don't have Mickey James in there, and she probably belongs to it, too. Anyway, Molly Holly. I first saw her as Miss Madness in the Macho Madness. Macho Madness? The Macho Man's Entourage with Medusa and Gorgeous George. We Ooh. saw naked at uh, Al's Diamond Cabaret a thousand years ago. On screen cousins were Bob and Crash Holly, and she joined the hurricane to become Mighty Molly. Horrible gimmick. And I agree with him. I'd have fucked her silly. Yeah, of course, Lita, Trish, any of these women, I'm pretty sure, except for maybe China, because I'm afraid her dick might have been bigger than mine, but we'll get to that in a minute. Jacqueline, does anybody remember Jacqueline Moore? Started as the girlfriend of Mark Marrow. She started feuding with his estranged wife, Sable. She was in PMS, Pretty Mean Sisters, with Terry Runnels, what about here? She had a nice rack. She had a nice rack. And Ryan Shamrock. And as you said, does anybody remember Ron Shamrock? I do, but what do I know? Ivory Glow. Do you remember Ivory Glow? Oh, wait a minute. Ivory Glow. She was an original member of Glow. How do you like that? Ivory Glow. Damn, I shouldn't drink anymore. Originally a member of the Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling. I wish I remembered her name, but it doesn't matter. She was a ho for the Godfather, but I also think so was Victoria and Alita, but I'm not 100% sure. She eventually joined Right to Censor. Does anybody remember that? Yeah. Wasn't that like Stephen Richards? And they were like, oh, you can't do this. And, you know, yeah, Stevie Richards. Okay, Sable. At the time, I thought the hottest woman ever in wrestling. What do you think, anybody? Absolutely. Yes? No? Mm -hmm. She's now married to Brock Lesnar. I'd probably still fuck it, but I'd probably fall in. But anyway, she got me watching wrestling WWF again after years of not watching because guys like Bret Hart and early Shawn Michaels before he joined DX. They were boring guys to watch. Diesel? And when she came out with the, just the handprints covering her titties? They, uh, yes, that was a uh, bikini match and she had paint on. Yeah, and she good. lost the match to Jacqueline Moore actually because it wasn't an official bikini but we liked it. It was. Oh yeah. It was awesome. Uh, I don't remember her as being a good wrestler but she was smoking fucking hot. And also did multiple Playboys. Yes, and I own them both. 
or three or whatever it is. Okay, China. She was part of Latina. He was the original Mamacita. Was also form DX. This is interesting. Beat Jeff Jarrett for the Intercontinental title. I said, I got one thing to say about China. Wasn't she in the same time as Nicole Bass? Yes. Nicole? I think Nicole Bass, who also probably had a bigger dick than China. Well, yeah, probably. I think she was the bodyguard of China for five seconds. Yeah. China also had the valet, Miss Kitty. Both passed, I think. Yeah. Nicole Bass. I'm not sure about Nicole Bass, but definitely China. Uh, China's famous for doing porn with Xbox. One Night in China? His brother wants to watch it. I don't. It would be like um, it would be like a clockwork orange. You would have to time me to the chair and have my eyes open like this. And I would still cry. I swear to God. I would cry like a little bitch. I do not want to see that. Because I'm afraid China's going to have a bigger dick than Xbox, as I said before. Okay, we also want to briefly mention Sunny. Sunny I guess she was there. She was hot at the time. I liked her with Candida, Body Donna's. Chris yes. Candido and I couldn't even tell you the other one was. Maybe it was the guy that became Crash. I'm not sure. Was it Skip and Zip. Yeah, but I'm not sure who Zip was. Yeah, yeah, I think it was the guy that became Crash Holly, but I'm not sure. So yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it was the guy that became Crash Holly. And then she joined the Legion of Doom, which was stupid because she had a rack. And then he put these stupid fucking what were they the ar the, the spiked arm spiked arm, arm fans? Yeah. Really? I want to see these spikes, not that. Okay, the Attitude Era ended when the WWF became the WWE. <laughs> Thank you. In 2002. Okay, the next episode we're going to talk about the Monday Night Wars, which was a part of this, but separate. So, this is uh, B. Brian Bl Blades, the 18th. Blades. <laughs> and Jacob Carver. Jacob Carver and Mike Money from the Money Pit saying, fuck off. No mask, Chris. Cha-ching.